Because you have to essentially be really good looking all the time, right? That's got to be tough. It's got to be challenging. <laughs> oh, shucks, Peter. That's a tall task. Shucks, Peter. This is our first date. Yeah. <laughs> Full episodes of the Peter Chow Show, including my conversation with Mortal Kombat's Ludi Lin, are now available wherever you listen to podcasts. Check it out. I'm sitting here with film and television actor known as Black Ranger from Power Rangers, Merc from Aquaman, Lance in Black Mirror, and of course the iconic Liu Kang from the upcoming Mortal Kombat <laughs> out in theaters in HBO Max on April 16th. Ladies and gentlemen, Ludi Lin. Here's some applause. I love it. Kudos. Does that make you feel good? A little bit. I love the laugh tracks. Yeah. Live in studio. I feel like um, we can pipe in a lot of applause and a lot of laughter. Maybe sometimes, let's just say, for example, I got this board right here, and you tell a really bad joke. That's hilarious, right? It makes me want to cry. <laughs> what about if you say <laughs> Such something? Such a sad sound. What if you say something funny? Oh, I got one. I got one. Uh, uh, why couldn't the bicycle stand up on its own? Why? Because it was too tired. But <laughs> Doesn't it work for everything? <laughs> That's it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'll see my you guys goodness. Later. Well, I guess there's a reason why you're not a comedian, and you're one of the most prolific actors out there. But you were, so uh, we compliment each other. Dude, it's a pleasure it's getting the opportunity to sit across from you, my friend. I got to say, how, how's your day so far? So far, so good, man. Uh, day's been long. I usually wake up at around 5 o'clock, so... 5 o'clock. This is halfway to Sunday for me. Are you one of those, like, you know, fuel-for-food people? Like, because you have to essentially be really good-looking all the time, right? That's got to be tough. It's got to be challenging. <laughs> oh, shucks, Peter. That's a tall task. Shucks, Peter. This is our first date. Yeah. <laughs> Flattering is not going to get you anywhere, my friend. <laughs> I need flowers. I need to be wine and dine and swoon. There's nothing on this table but water. <laughs> you know, the first thing I, uh, when Ty was around here, he was, I was like, hey, do you want anything to drink? And he was just like, uh, do you have any brandy? Do you have any whiskey? And I was like. He, he's a whiskey guy. He's a whiskey guy. He's a whiskey guy. What kind of guy are you? What kind of liquor do you like? I'm a hydrogen dioxide guy. So this yeah. is perfect for me. Water is perfect. See, again, yeah. food for fuel. I mean, do you, okay, so tell me, five o'clock in the morning, you wake up, you do what? Uh, I do my morning routine. Okay, tell me about clean this. the pipes. I'm really, I'm really interested in this because I think a lot of people, especially Asians like myself, that don't really typically like to work out unless I'm forced to, unless it's part of my contract, so to speak, which it hasn't been yet. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you know I'll how, put you, know you on those, the contract, Peter Chow. <laughs> <Jeff. laughs> but you know those actors, right? Like you know, you you see all those shows. Like, uh, you know, CW type shows like Riverdale, where people are essentially, they have to be really good looking. And it's part of their contract, I would imagine. Even Jughead, like on Riverdale, looks good. And people on those shows look really good. They probably have to wake up at five o'clock in the morning, wouldn't you say? Uh, I, I, I think there's um, like a public misconception about that. Because yeah. actors are usually pretty laid back, I think, unless they know that they have a shirtless scene coming up. Okay. And it's like, a two week fast and yeah. uh, and no water the day of um, and, f and for me because I, I'm, I'm I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing from day to day so I just like to be prepared 100% yeah. of the time but especially with something like Liu Kang I would imagine that you would have to be in really solid shape did you have to be on a specific diet for that well look for me Liu Kang uh, Liu Kang living by his code he's a Shaolin monk right so he's a Buddhist monk um, and to go along with that, he doesn't kill, uh, indifferently. He doesn't kill innocents, right. including animals. So for me, he's vegan and I'm vegan. So it just went fit, you know, fit hand in hand. Yeah. Is that like a backstory that I guess you created for the character or was that something that you already knew? I think it just fell on me. I think it just made sense. So I just do whatever makes sense, you know? Yeah. No, I was, I was vegan for about, uh, a year and a half or so, and I really felt good. Like, I felt really clean. I'm still mostly veggie now, but I feel like it was uh, it was something that, like, it felt really invigorating to me to be able to be a part of a movement that I wasn't harming any animals for, obviously, that period of time. And, and it's, it's tough in this industry, especially around catering. You know, they have so many, like, meat options, but then I feel like it's starting to cater towards 
the veggies and vegans. Yeah, it definitely is. I mean, it uh, definitely, I think it made your, um, it would make the animals around you feel really good. Like, yeah. for example, if you had a cat or a dog, they would think that, you know, if things really went to hell, heck, yeah. shit, you, 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 wouldn't be, you wouldn't be looking at them as food, yeah. right? So... <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I, I feel that that's, uh, well, how long have you been vegan for? Is it something that, uh, you know, you've been I think four or five years now. Four to five years? Yeah, yeah. and I okay. don't do anything unless I know that I can do it forever, so. Right, right, and it's sustainable. You think that it's something that you can actually always do in terms of cutting meat out of your diet or. Yeah, you know, I think it's the only thing that's sustainable right now. Yeah. Oh, well, especially in the, where the yeah, in the right way now. we're going. I uh, I just read the statistic this morning, and, and it kind of blows my mind sometimes. Yeah. Right, that like ninety six percent of the mammals on Earth are raised for human meat consumption. Yeah, of the mammals on Earth. So you know we comprise less than one percent of the biomass here. So, but we're eating. We're eating them. We're eating ninety six percent of the mammals. That's just bread. For us to eat. Yeah. That we raised for us to eat. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> and also you have to think about all the agriculture that you have to essentially raise to feed these animals, you know, before, you know, essentially that's what agriculture is for. You're raising it so that these, you know, these animals uh, can eat them and then we're killing the animals to eat them ourselves as human beings. How fucked up is that? It's pretty fucked up. It's pretty mind boggling. I mean, um, I, I, I'm not one of those people that, you know, like to push uh, my way of life upon other people. But if you like, you know, the results, if you like yeah. to, if it makes you feel good, I think you should do it. I don't know. And feel good as a person and then also feel good in terms of from a health standpoint, I would imagine as well. Right? Yeah. And, I, and, you know, I just can't think of one animal that I, anyone would say is not cute. Even like the ugliest, oh, weirdest, man. like duckbill platypus where people thought it was just a made up thing. You look at them and you're like, wow, that's cute. And that's yeah. where Pokemons come from. You exactly. Know? And then to link that with, I want to cut that apart and then put it in my mouth. It's just not, it doesn't equate for me. So now yeah. I'm like, I'm like, okay, yeah, I think they're cute and I shouldn't, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure whether you're on you know, TikTok or not, but like, I feel like, you know, every everybody's TikTok has like a For You page. The For You page is essentially catered to whatever you like to watch or whatever you like to consume. And mine is just full of cute animals all like. day. <laughs> and like, I'll, I'll, I'll be scrolling and then I'll see like a, a possum just hissing at me. And then I'd be like, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Just even like you, you open a trash can, you see a possum there. I just want to bring it into my house. So does my wife. Yeah, Fantastic. that's funny, actually. You said that something you like to watch and you like to consume. because <laughs> <laughs> Consume as in consume the consume content. Consume with your eyes. 